The art world is a small world, and over the years uh, you develop friendships in the field and uh, you discuss possibilities of exhibits down the line, and this, is a, this uh, came about uh, a couple of years ago when, when I had a conversation with the director of the Irvine Museum. And, and since the Butler Institute is known for its American Impressionist collection, these paintings of California Impressionists just seemed a natural fit for us. And, uh, we're making a really big deal about it because we think it is a big deal. You know, art reflects the time, but it also reflects the place. And California is, is talk about a varied uh, country. Uh, there's mountains and the ocean and the deserts, and it's just this, uh, you talk about a turn on for the artist. It certainly, it certainly is that. And so when you when you see the works of the of the California Impressionists you get a true sense of the California landscape. You get a true sense of the Calif California atmosphere and the fog and, and all that we associate with California. The beauty of that place is, uh, is here. Impressionism was really invented in the 1870s. Those first exhibitions were held uh, there were 10 exhibits uh, between 1870 and around 1900. But then uh, the world discovered Impressionism and including Americans. Many Americans went to France and worked alongside the French Impressionists. But something that always has struck me about American Impressionism, Americans are great storytellers. American artists are great storytellers. And uh, while Monet is interested in light, in the abstract qualities of light, the Americans never left the sense of subject matter and how important subject matter is. There's a solidity to the American brand of Impressionism that, that you don't see in the French brand of Impressionism. We are blessed here at the Butler to have the quintessential uh, American Impressionist work. It's by Robert Vonno, V-O-N-N-O-H. It was painted in 1892 by this artist who, who, who went to France. He was known primarily as a portrait artist. In many ways, Vano is a one-hit wonder, but what a hit. Uh, Flanders Field depicts this beautiful uh, field of poppies, and, and you see a couple of people working in the field and in this beautiful, this, it's just beautiful in every way, color-wise, color uh, composition-wise. It's just as magical. Uh, and that painting has become so identified with the Butler Institute of American Art and uh, uh, we're thrilled to death to have it uh, because again, it is, it is the work. Any book on American Impressionism, it's either on the cover or the centerpiece. And it's right here in little old Youngstown, Ohio. I have a favorite among the, in the Impressionist room and it's a work by William Merritt Chase. It's called Did You Speak to Me? It's, it's his daughter uh, seated in his studio on 10th Street in New York City. The color is beautiful. The technique is beautiful. He was a master. He was a great teacher. Um, he was very much taken with the Impressionist movement in, in Europe and, and went there. Um, uh, he was just uh, one of the great, great artists. And we have here at the Butler in that painting, if not the best, example of Chase's work right up there with the very best of them. The, the exhibition, the California Impressionist exhibition is, is at home here. Uh, uh, these, the, I think the artists, uh, if they could magically come to life and, and be here with us, they would be very impressed by the fact that that Robert Vonno's masterpiece is right down the hallway and that William Merritt Chase's work and John Singer Sargent's work is here and uh, so many of the other great artists, Mary Cassatt's work is here. Uh, they would be, uh, I think, honored as we are honored to have uh, their work here.